So come on up. And let's shake the body out. Okay. Shake the sleeves out of our system. And <laughs> Yeah, do the whole mouth blubbering thing. <laughs> Loosen out the jaw. Wiggle your shoulders. Wiggle your bum. Wiggle your wrists. Get everything moving, jiggling, wiggling. <laughs> Bounce up and down a few times, waking up the bones. Actually, for Eileen, it's not waking up anymore. It's later in the day. <laughs> but you can still jiggle and wiggle with us even though it's later in the day. Oh. Hello, Judith. We go, we go, we go. Fantastic. Just one more proper we go. Go. Excellent. Now, if you have bricks or cushions, you want to place one under your upper back and one under your head. If you only have one, then it goes under your upper back. So between the shoulder blades, okay? But if you have cushion, the cushion just goes under the upper back, yeah? If you have a brick, one goes in between the shoulder blades and one goes under your head, okay? So if I were to hold it up for you, the vertical one would be right here in between the shoulder blades. And then there should be a gap for the neck and the horizontal one goes under your head. And then just make sure you're lying down comfortably. Have the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide if that feels comfortable. If that is not comfortable, you can also try having the knees bent, feet wide, knees together. And if that's still not comfortable, just have your legs straight out. Okay? Find a com comfortable position for your legs. And also you can have your hands a little bit away from you with the palms up. If you're not lying on bricks or cushion, you might want to have the hands in cactus position. So elbows out to the side at the shoulder height and the back of the hands just resting. And that will just help to open the front of the body a little bit. And take a nice deep breath in and sigh the breath out. And do that twice more. So deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And one more time. Nice deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And if you ever feel like you need an extra side, then go ahead and go for it. Otherwise, just allow the breath to flow in and out freely and softly. And watch as the breath flows in. Watch as the breath flows out. Notice how the breath is today. Notice how you're feeling today. Okay. And then when you're ready, encourage the breath in to be a little bit deeper and the breath out to be a little bit longer. No straining, no forcing, you're just gently encouraging the breath to get deeper and longer. So as you breathe in, invite the torso to expand a little more. As you breathe out, soften a little bit more. And as you do this, you might notice that you're holding tension somewhere. Okay? So when you breathe out, just invite those muscles to soften. Okay? Thank them for tensing up to protect you, but then reassure them that you're safe and just allow them to soften and relax. And this is how we work into forward bends as well. Forward bends for a lot of people are challenging, especially if you have expectations of getting somewhere with it. If you feel you need to get down and touch your toes or you know, get your head down to the floor or whatever, then there's that temptation to pull yourself, yank yourself into, force yourself into it. 
And what happens when you do that is the muscles in the body are so clever, they'll just go, okay, that's not where I normally work, so they'll tense up. And, and if the more you yank, the more the muscles are going to tense up, and you're just going to end up fighting against yourself. Okay? So to get into a forward bend, there is a certain amount of surrendering that is required, a certain amount of patience as well. So when you work into a forward bend, at the moment you feel sensation in the belly of your muscles and not at the joints. If you're feeling it at the joints, you've probably gone a bit too far already. But when you're starting to feel some sensation in the belly of the muscles, stop, be there, breathe, wiggle, jiggle. You know, when you start to soften and relax into it, you're telling your brain you're quite happy here. And as soon as the nervous system picks up the cue that you're happy here, they'll tell the muscles to relax. And when the muscles start to relax, then you might find that you can go a little deeper into your forward bend, okay? So if you've been lying on bricks for a while, you might now want to put the soles of the feet on the mat, roll over to one side and move the bricks out from underneath you and then get back onto the mat again, lying back down onto your back, allowing the spine to settle, extend the legs out in front of you. And then when you're ready, we're going to do a big full body stretch. So as you breathe in, reach your arms overhead, point the toes forward, get nice and long, big stretch. And then start to stretch one side and then the other side and do that a few times. And on your next out breath, use the breath to help you draw the knees up into the chest, curling into yourself. A little forward bend here already, drawing the belly in and up. And then you can bring your forehead up towards your knees, chin towards your chest, breathing into the back body. Gently rocking it out side to side. And then as you exhale, release the head back down. Okay? And we're going to hold on to our right knee, extend the left leg away, flex that left foot. Okay? Hug that right knee in like you love it, so the left leg is on the floor. Yeah? And then start to do some hip circles into that left, sorry, into that right hip joint. Okay? Keep your left foot active. See if you can try not to let, let the left leg roll outward. See if you can keep the knee and the toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And then rotate the right hip in the opposite direction a few times. And then let's hold on to the back of the right thigh with the knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Okay? As you breathe out, extend the leg up, flex the foot. As you breathe in, bend the knee back down. Okay? As you breathe out, extend back up again. Breathing in and bend. Okay. Breathing out and extend, breathing in and bend. Every time you extend the leg up, press the hands and the leg against each other to make the muscles work a little bit. Okay. And then let's do one more, so that's five in total. We'll keep your leg up there. Start to point and flex the foot a few times. Okay. Remember to keep the leg and, and the hands pressing into each other and rotate the ankle in one direction a few times and in the opposite direction a few times. Lovely. And as you breathe out next time, hug your inner thighs towards each other. See if you can start to draw your right leg in a little closer to you. Okay? If this is hurting your lower back in any way, feel free to bend the left knee and put the left foot flat. If you're happy here, Try lifting your head and shoulders off the floor. Draw the pelvic floor, lower belly in and up. Maybe floating the left leg up off the floor. Release the hands from your leg. Extend the palms forward. Get your right leg straight up towards the ceiling. If you need to bend it because of tight hamstrings, that's okay. Let's squeeze your inner thighs together. Hold it here a moment. And then as you exhale, twist to the right. Taking the arms to the outside of the right leg, hug the thighs in towards each other. Pulse up and down a few times. 
As you exhale, next time, come back to center. Take your hands underneath your head. Keep your head and shoulders off the floor. And do three big circles with your right leg in one direction. And then do three big circles going in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And then lower down, hugging the knees into the chest for a moment. Wrap your arms across your legs, give yourself a little gentle rocking. And then do a big full body stretch again before we start with the other side. And as you exhale, next time, draw the left knee into the chest. Flex that right foot, keep the right knee pointing up. Okay? So right leg is absolutely engaged, not floppy. And then start to rotate into that left hip joint a few times in one direction. And then go in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And then we're going to hold on to the back of that left thigh, left knee pointing straight up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, extend the left heel up to the ceiling, flex it. Inhale and bend. Exhale and extend. Remember to keep pressing the hands and the leg against each other. Okay? As you take the leg up, flex the foot. Okay? We're doing five of these in total, so I'm on my fourth one. And on my fifth one, on the fifth one, you're going to keep the leg straight up there. Hug the inner thighs towards each other. Point and flex the foot a few times. And then rotate the ankle in one direction a few times. And then in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And then keep pressing the hands and the legs against each other. Press the heel up. And as you breathe out, see if you can soften the effort and start to draw the left leg a little closer to you. And you might want to lift your head and shoulders up as if you're trying to kiss your knees. Right? Keep the right leg active. Maybe you want to lift the right foot up a little bit now. Extend the left leg straight up. Hands, sorry, hands reaching forward. Right? Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Head and shoulders off the floor. Pelvic floor, lower belly drawing in and up. And then as you breathe out, twist to the left leg and arms to the outside of the left leg. And you might want to just gently pulse up and down a few times. And then as you exhale, bring your upper body to center, hands underneath your head. Okay. Are we good? We're still here. I forgot what we did the other side. We're going to circle. So three big circles in one direction. That was just a trick to keep you up a little bit longer. And then we're going to go three times in the opposite direction. And then when you've done that, bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big, big cuddle. Rocking gently side to side. And then let's take the legs up towards the ceiling. And you can either, you know, you can have your hands alongside or you can have your hands underneath your lower back. I don't mind. As you flex the feet, hug your inner thighs. As you exhale, slowly begin to lower the legs straight towards the floor. Stop before it hurts your back. And then lift your head and shoulders up. Look at your feet. Breathe. And then slowly come all the way up. Let the feet hover for a moment. You can reach your arms out if you like. Smile. And then lower the legs down. And we're going to come onto our hands and knees straight away and start working. If you have a brick or a cushion, that would be great. Also, those of you who've just come in, if you have a belt or a tie, that would be good too. Okay? And then let's come onto our hands and knees and have our shoulders, elbows and wrists in alignment, knees pressing deeply into the mat. As you breathe in, slide the height forward and look up. As you breathe out, push into the earth and round the spine. Inhale, height forward, look up. Exhale and round the spine. And then we're going to hold this. So stay in the rounded position. 
As you breathe in, send the breath into the space between your shoulder blades. As you breathe out, lift the pelvic floor and then send your heart forward, look up. Breathe in, round the spine, push the earth away. Breathe out, slide the heart forward and look up. One more, so as you breathe in, send the breath into the upper back rather than into the belly. Okay? And then as you breathe out, heart forward, look up. And if you have a brick or a cushion, place it in between your inner thighs. Okay? Between your inner thighs. And then walk your hands a tiny bit in front of your shoulders. Tuck the toes under. And as you breathe out, move your bottom towards your heels. Lift the knees up, going into downward dog. Okay? And then from here, I want you to imagine that you're going to try to squeeze and send the brick back behind you. So, to send the brick back behind you, you have to start to turn your thigh bones inwards. So, start with your knees soft, okay? And then start to turn your thigh bones inwards, like you're trying to get the brick all the way back behind you. And then see if you can start to ground the heels down, okay? And stay there a moment and breathe. And you can try bending one knee and then the other without loosening the brick. That's kind of interesting. Lovely. And then from here, keeping the brick in between, or the cushion between your legs, come up onto your tippy toes as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, start to tippy toe yourself all the way forward. Okay? Stop when, when, it's, when you feel it, not when it's hurting. Stop before it hurts. And then lower the heels down. Okay? Have your hands a little bit in front of you. I would say have the hand a good six inches, maybe more, in front of you, see if you can get your palms flat, okay? And if you can't get your palms flat, at least press into the finger pads. So you have to press into your hands or into your finger pads, relax your head, okay? And see if you can start to work your legs a little straighter by spinning your thigh bones inwards, sending the brick a little bit back behind you. Okay? And see if you can try to keep the weight dropping down into the front of the feet as much as into the back of the feet. So you're not just hanging out in your heels. Okay. And then relax the hands, bend the knees, move the brick out of the way. And as you breathe out, push into the earth and roll the spine all the way up. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, bringing the hands to the heart. Okay. And if you're working with bricks, you want them now at the front of the mat so we can start to flow and warm up a little bit. I'm going to turn sideways because I think it's easier for everybody to see that way. Okay. So standing tall, feet roughly hip width. Some of you might prefer them together and that's okay too. Okay. Soften the knees a little bit. Okay. And as you breathe in, push into your feet, float the arms up. As you breathe out, soften the knees, spin the thigh bones in and fold forward. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, step or jump mindfully back into downward dog. As you breathe in, bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. As you breathe out, push the thighs back. Let the spine round as you wave forward, coming into plank. Inhaling in plank. As you exhale, you can lower knees, chest and chin, or you can lower chaturanga. Inhale, lifting up into cobra and as you exhale slowly take yourself back into downward dog okay? so in your dog bend the knees a little bit spin the thigh bones in a little as if you still have that brick there and then press your heels down and back and down and as you breathe in lift your right leg up keep the hips square as you breathe out bring your right knee towards your nose pushing the earth away Inhale, take that right leg up again, hip squared. Exhale, knee to nose, push the earth away with your hands. Inhale, one more time, take that right leg straight up. Exhale, knee to nose, hold it there. Take a deep breath into the upper back. And as you breathe out, step your right foot forward to the inside of your right hand. We're staying on the balls of the left foot. Okay? And if you want to use bricks under your hands, go ahead and bring your bricks under your hands. Okay? 
Keep your left leg really strong by pressing out through the left heel, but also think about the front of your left thigh. You want to push it upwards towards the ceiling. Okay? Hug the inner thighs towards each other. Inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, start to slowly slide your bottom back. Work the front leg towards straight and fold. Okay. Inhale, bend that front knee. Lift the chest, maybe sink the hips a little bit more. Exhale, slide your bottom back. Work the front leg towards straight and fold. Inhale, bend that front knee. Hug the feet towards each other. Look up. Exhale, bum back and fold. And we're going to stay here. Okay. What I want you to do is, as you breathe in, hug the thighs together and lift your chest up. Keep the spine long for a moment. Okay. Then keep thinking about spinning the inner thighs inwards. So think about the top of your thighs. Spin them inwards a little bit. Notice your sit bones going wide. Then take another deep breath in. As you breathe out, see if you can fold a little deeper and then just gently sway the hips out side to side. And then inhale, bending that right knee again. Okay? And as you exhale, we're going to step back into downward dog. Okay? Inhale, bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back, lift the spine round as you wave forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhaling into cobra or upward dog and exhaling back into downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Remember to keep the hips square, not spinning out. Exhale, left knee to nose, push the earth away. Inhale, take that left leg back up again. Exhale, left knee to nose. One more time. Inhale, left leg straight up. And exhale, left knee to nose, stay there, take a deep breath into the upper back. And as you breathe out, left foot comes forward. Hands can come onto the bricks if that helps you. It certainly helps me, okay? And then press out through that right heel. Lift that right, the front thigh, the front thigh, the front of your right thigh. Press it up towards the ceiling. Hug the inner thighs towards each other. And as you breathe in, lift your chest. As you breathe out, slide the bottom back and fold over your left leg. Inhale, bend that left knee. Hug the feet, sink the hips a little bit. Exhale, rock back and fold over your left leg. One more time. Inhale, bend that left knee, look forward. Exhale, begin to rock back. Okay. And one more time. Let's inhale, lift the chest up with that front leg towards straight. See if you can spin your inner thighs inwards. Feel like your sit bones are going out wide to the side. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, now begin to fold over your legs. Okay? Hug the inner thighs towards each other and gently sway the hips side to side. And then inhale, bend that left knee, get your hands back on the floor. And as you exhale, step back into downward dog. If you want to hold this dog, you go ahead and hold it. Otherwise, inhale, bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. Okay. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. And as you exhale, lower knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Beautiful. Inhale into cobra or up dog and exhale all the way back to downward dog. Inhale to bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. And as you exhale, you can step or jump to the front of the mat, coming into a standing forward bend. As you breathe in, come up halfway. As you breathe out, push into the earth, roll the spine all the way up. Inhaling the arms up. And as you exhale, draw your hands down to your heart. Right, if you have a brick or a cushion or a book, okay, grab it. We're just going to play.
play with it a little bit. If you haven't got a book, a brick, or a cushion, or anything there, okay, I want you to imagine, okay, use your imagination, and imagine that you've got a brick, a book, or a cushion, or a blanket between your inner thighs, right? And then just stand nice and tall, I'm going to turn sideways, okay? And now I want you to then start to think about squeezing and sending the brick forward. Okay, so not back behind you this time, but sending it forward. And notice how when you squeeze and send the brick forward, you feel the buttocks tensing up. Yes, do we feel that? Thumbs up if you feel it, yeah? Now, keep that, squeeze your buttocks like that, and see how easy it is to fold forward without letting go of the buttocks. It's not easy, is it? Okay, so now try the other way. We're going to send the brick back behind you. So start to turn your thigh bone inwards and start to send your sit bones nice and wide. And notice how when you do that, you naturally start to come forward already, okay? And now, obviously, then some of us have tight hamstrings and that might not allow us to go further. So if your hamstrings are feeling tight, bend the knees a little and see if you can start to fall a little bit more forward, keeping the spine long, okay? And then when you find that's it, I'm not going to go any further, relax your head down, okay? And then move the brick out of the way. See if you can do that, or the cushion, out of the way without losing that inner rotation of your thigh bones, okay? And then from here, wrap your arms behind your legs, okay? Bend the knees a little more so that you can get your belly all the way onto your thighs, okay? And then instead of allowing the belly to come from the, away from the thighs, I want you to keep the belly there. Press the legs into your arms as you hug the arms into the legs. Spin your thigh bones in a little bit more and then see if you can start to extend the legs up a little more. Maybe, maybe not, but don't let your belly come away from your thighs. And then relax the hands and use your next out breath to roll the spine all the way up. Inhaling the arms up, exhaling the hands to the heart. And we're going to flow a little bit more, so come to the front of the mat, okay? And we're going to go into chair pose, so have your legs together. And all in one breath, hug your inner thighs, stick your bottom back, and then as you breathe in, sink your bum down behind you and float your arms up, chair pose. As you breathe out, fold forward, think about spinning your thigh bones in. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, step up, jump mindfully back into downward dog. And as you breathe in, bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little. As you breathe out, press the thighs back, wave forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, lifting up into cobra or upward dog. And as you exhale, drop the chin, pull the belly up, wave back into downward dog. Then inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot all the way forward. Okay? And we're going to ground up. So bring the left foot in a little bit. Ground the left heel down for warrior one. Squeezing the inner thighs together. Use your out breath to roll the spine all the way up. Inhaling in warrior one, arms up. Okay? And then just start to lengthen the sides a little, so stretching one side, and then the other side. Breathe and smile, keep the legs nice and strong. Wonderful, and then inhale, both arms up. And as you exhale, begin to fold forward over your right leg. Again, hands can come onto bricks if you like, okay? So this is a, a very similar one to the one we did earlier. So as you breathe in now, lift the chest. As you breathe out, see if you can start to spin the right thigh bone, the front thigh bone in, and slide your hips back, work the right leg towards straight, okay? And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, begin to fold over your right leg. Now with the back foot grounded 
and the toes turned out, your hips are going to be slightly at a diagonal. Okay? So if you're trying to twist your body over your right leg, you'll feel that you get a little bit more on the outside, on the back of your left side. Okay? But if that's uncomfortable, it doesn't feel good to, for your body, come down in the, to the inside of your right leg instead. So you watch what feels good for you. If you find that you can twist over your right leg and there is no discomfort, then have that gentle little twist over your right leg. If it feels uncomfortable, come down in between. So come to the inside of your leg and relax your head and shoulders down. Okay? And you might want to still sway the hips a little bit side to side. And then inhale to bend that right knee. And as you exhale, spin onto the balls of the left foot and lower the left knee down to the floor. As you breathe in, hug the inner thighs towards each other. As you breathe out, roll the spine up. Inhale the palms together at your heart center. As you exhale, lean forward, hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And have that sense of hugging the thighs in again. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, spin your chest to the right. And roll your right shoulder onto your back. Half the thighs in. Okay. Those of you who want a little bit more here, you're going to tuck your left toes under if they're not already tucked and press out through the left heel, lift the left knee up and spin your chest back into the twist. Okay. Wonderful. Now we're going to step forward into twisting chair pose. Okay. So, if you have the back knee on the floor, and it's going to be hard to step that way, you have the choice of putting your hands down on the floor first, lift the back knee up, step forward, and then go into your chair twist. If you are happy enough to step back from where you are, make sure that the left knee is off the floor, look down at the floor in front of your right foot, and as you breathe out, ground into your right foot, bring the left foot up, sink your bum down, and go back into your twist, and smile. So think about not allowing the spine to just be rounding out. Lift the spine, lengthen the spine. Okay? And then exhale, fold forward over your legs into a standing forward bend. Take a nice deep breath in as you come up halfway. As you breathe out, I want you to start to walk your hands around to the left side. Bend that left knee, but keep the right leg somewhat straight. So if you need to take your brick with you, okay, then go ahead and take the brick with you. Left knee is bent, right leg is towards straight. And you can reach your right arm long. So reach your right arm straight out to the left. And then slowly come back to center. Take a breath in as you come up halfway. And as you breathe out, take your hands down, step or jump back into downward dog. Okay. Inhale, bend the elbows and the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank. And as you exhale, lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhaling into cobra or upward dog. And as you exhale, take it back into downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Hip squared, lovely. Exhale, step that left foot forward to the inside of your left hand. Bring your right foot in just a little closer, ground the right heel down with a big toe pointing towards the front right corner of your mat. Hug the inner thighs and then use your out breath, push into your feet and come all the way up into warrior one. Inhaling here. Okay. And once you get to your warrior one, start to stretch one side and then the other a few times. I don't know if you can see your screen very much, but Heather's got three monkeys jumping with her at the moment. The boys are not really monkeys. Right, inhale, both arms straight up. Okay. And as you exhale, keep the spine long. Start to spin your left inner thighs in as you fold over your left leg. And then spin the left inner thigh in a little bit more as you slide your legs back. It's not, not, not legs, slide your hips back. 
working your left leg towards straight. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then as you fold, you fold on the out breath, either a little bit twisting towards the left side, or you can come down right in the middle so that you're kind of on the inside of the left leg. Whatever feels most comfortable for your lower back, okay? So for some of us, it's fairly easy to just twist over to one side and it feels great, okay? But make sure that you don't start to torque that back knee in if you're twisting to the left, okay? But for some, it's a lot happier place to be sort of on the inside of the leg. So you choose and breathe. And you might want to sway your hips. And then from here, inhale, coming back, bending that left knee. As you exhale, you spin onto the balls of the right foot and lower the right knee down. Okay? Inhale, squeeze the inner thighs together. And as you exhale, roll the spine up, hands together at the heart center. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, come forward, hooking the left elbow, no, the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, hug the thighs, lengthen the spine. Exhale, spin your chest to the left. And then you can stay right here with that back knee down, or you can lift that back knee up off the floor. But if you're lifting your right leg off the floor, right knee off the floor, make sure that it's not floppy. You're pressing out through the heel, and you're pressing the front of the thigh up, and hug the inner thighs towards each other, and breathe. And we're going to save a little strength to step forward. But remember, you're more than welcome to release the hands down first and then step forward, coming into your chair twist. If you're happy enough where you are, you're going to turn your head to look at the floor. Right knee is off the floor, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to bring that right foot forward, sink your bum back and go back into your chair twist. Beautiful. And then exhaling, coming into a standing forward, then spinning the thigh bones inwards. Relax your head down. And then we're going to walk around to the right side. So inhale, come up a little. And as you exhale, start to walk your hands around to the right side. Bend that right knee, keep the left leg straight. You can have your hands on the brick or you can have your hands on the floor. We'll walk your left hand a little away from you. So creating length along the left side of the body. And then inhale, returning to center. Exhale, push into your feet and roll the spine all the way up. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling the hands to the heart. Oh, nice and warm already. Right, we'll do one more little sequence up here and then we're going to start to do other stuff. Okay. So let's stand, stand with our feet nice and wide. Feet nice and wide. Okay. And we'll turn the left toes in, turn the right toes out, okay. preparing for warrior two. So your left toes are turned in a little bit. Soften the knees okay. and spin your chest to the long edge of your mat and then ground into that left foot, extend the left leg. Bend the right knee so it sits in line with the right ankle. Keep your shoulders in line with your hips. Inhale the arms to shoulder height. And we're going to stay here. Inhale next time. Lean back into reverse warrior. And as you exhale, come forward, placing your right forearm onto your thigh. Left arm up and over diagonally. And now draw the belly in and spin the chest up towards the ceiling a little bit more. Lengthen both sideways. Okay. And if this is a happy place for you, then please stay here. Okay. Some of you might want to slide your right hand down to your right ankle. Draw the belly in and spin the chest up a little bit more. Okay. Some of you might want now to take that left hand and bind it behind you. Maybe you can reach for the top of your right thigh with your left hand. And keep spinning the chest up. Breathe. Some of you might now want to lean a little forward to the inside of your right leg. 
Take your right hand underneath your right leg to find your left hand if you're in the bind. And then tuck the tailbone under, spin the chest up again. Okay. You don't have to do all these. You can stay right here with the elbow onto your thigh with the top arm up. All of these are just options to add on if you feel like it. Okay. And then release the bind. Inhale, lift that left arm up. As you exhale, we're going to circle the left arm across the face and bring both hands down to the floor. Turn your left foot out and start to walk around towards your left leg. And you're going to bend that left knee, dig the right heel down, right toes pointing up, if you're low enough. If you're not low enough, you just walk your hands over to the left knee, bend the left knee a little and hold it there, okay? And then on your next in-breath, start to walk your hands over to your right leg, your right toes are already out, so bend the right knee and sink down a little bit. Hug the feet in towards each other. So you're doing a side lunge. Okay? And then let's go to the left one more time. So inhale, hands down, lift up, walk around to the left. Bend the left knee as much or as little as you need to. Okay? And if you are sinking low enough, you can spin and lift your right toes up so you're on the back of your right foot. And then we're going to inhale, turn the right foot in, ground the right foot down, and we're going to play, turn our left foot all the way out, use our out breath and come up into warrior two, over that left leg, okay? So your left knee is bent in warrior two. Nice deep breath in as you lean back into reverse warrior. And as you breathe out, you're going to bring your left forearm onto your left thigh, and you're going to inhale the right arm up and over. Draw the belly in, spin the chest up. Okay? And then if you want to stay here, please stay here. If you want to lift a bit more into your hip, you can slide your left hand down to your left ankle. Okay? And if you want a little more, you take your right hand and bind it behind you to find the back of the top of your left thigh, whatever works. Okay? And then feel free to stay here or you can start to fold to the inside of your left leg. Take the left hand underneath the left leg to find the right hand. Find your bind. And then tuck the tailbone back under and spin your chest up. And then when you've had enough, you release that left hand down, release the right hand down, and we're going to do that side lunge again. So some of you might not need your hands at all, but if you do, start to turn your right foot out, walk your hands along the floor towards the right knee, bend the right knee and come into your side lunge, okay? If you don't need your hands, remember you don't need to, you can just take your arms out wide, and then as you breathe in, you start to move over to the left, bend the left knee, and then we're going to go again to the right, so push into your left foot, stay low, move over to the right. Fantastic. And then bring your hands to the floor, press into your hands, come to center of the mat, have your toes forward, okay, so feet are parallel now, okay. keep the knees soft if you prefer, inhale, lengthen the spine forward, get the weight into the balls of the feet as much as into the heels, Spin your thigh bones in and exhale, fold. Coming into Prasarita Padottanasana, okay? So think about turning your thigh bones in as if you have some massive brick between the inner thighs that you want to send back behind you, okay? And then maybe some of you can start to walk your hands in so that your fingertips align with the tips of the toes and maybe the head comes to the floor. Remember, you can keep your knees soft. Beautiful. And then from here, inhale, start to come up. Walk your hands a little forward. And we're going to turn our heels in, then our toes in, and then our heels in. And we're going to walk our hands back and sink into Malasana, coming into the yogic squat. Press the elbows into the inner knees. Push down into your feet. Make sure that you're active. And this pose really helps to release some of the tension in our um, external hip rotator muscles. 
And those are the muscles that sometimes stop us from going into a forward bend as well, okay? So press into the inner knees, lift the chest up, gently sway it out side to side if you wish. And then take your hands behind you, lower down, extend the legs out in front of you, give them a little shake. Cool. Gosh, time's going really, really quickly. Right, so we're going to do a little bit more forward bending type thing and then we're going to maybe do an arm balance and then we'll end with other stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean, we'll just get on with it, won't we? So let's start by taking our right foot to the outside of the left knee. Okay? Lean a little over to the left if you want to bend the left knee as well, but you don't need to bend the left knee. If you prefer, you can have the left leg straight. Okay? We're going to take the left arm and wrap it around the right leg. Okay? Some of you might want to take the upper arm all the way to the outside of that right leg, okay? and then take the right hand behind you. And as you breathe in, let the spine gently round at first, push into your sit bones, and lift the chest up. As you breathe out, spin your chest to the right. Okay? And use that left arm, nudge that right knee across a little bit more, and hopefully you feel the outside of your right hip a little, and breathe. And you can do a little gentle wiggle here if you like. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, turn back to center. Okay. Option one, okay, you're going to keep your left outer ankle, not alive, your right outer ankle. On your left thigh, lean back and bend the left knee, coming into seated single pigeon. Option two, you're coming into fire log pose, or the double pigeon, where you have your left leg on the floor, shin parallel with the front of the mat. Then your right ankle is on top of your left knee, and your right knee is on top of your left ankle. Okay? And if there's a little gap, don't worry about it. If there's a massive gap and you can place a brick there, then that's fine, do that. If that's not working, then stay in option one, okay? And we're going to, if you're in option one, you're just going to either walk your bottom closer to your heel and lift the chest up, gently swaying side to side. If you're in option two, okay, and you feel there is more room to go, flex the feet, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, begin to fold over your legs and relax your head down. Think about walking the hands a little forward so you can press into your hands, you know, push into your hands and then send your bottom back, grounding your sit bones into the earth. Okay? Breathe, be where you need to be. Okay? It's not a place to force yourself into. Okay? And then inhale to come up. Now, some of you will just come into a lunge and some of you will go into an arm balance. This is your choice, right? Take that right leg. If you're sitting there with your left leg straight, okay, then take your right leg out to the side, tuck your left foot in and you're going to come forward like that. If you're in the double pigeon, you're just taking your right leg down onto the floor in front of you and then roll forward, put your hands down on the inside of your right leg and take the left leg straight back, so you're coming into a lunge with your left knee on the floor, okay? I, I will turn sideways. And then from here, we're going to work on spinning the right thigh bone in so we can fold to the inside of our right leg and start to take the right shoulder underneath the right thigh, okay? And then the right hand comes out to the side, to the outside of your right foot, and you can wiggle your right foot in a little bit Keep your right hand on the floor. Now, you can stay right here and not go any further, and that would be perfectly fine. Work on hugging the right thigh into your right arm. Okay? If you want a little bit more, you can start to creep your right foot a little forward. Come on to the balls of the right foot. Okay? Squeeze your legs towards each other, and then maybe try lifting the right leg up. Okay? And then if you want a little bit more, squeeze your elbows in. Lift the left knee off the floor. And then you might want to float the left leg up, if that's there for you today, okay? And then when you've done it, bring that right, lower your left foot down if it's lifted, and then lower your left knee down, walk your hands back to center, and step your right leg back to join the left, 
okay? And then we're going to sit down again. So just sit back, no fuss. Swing your legs forward. Put your left foot to the outside of your right knee. Okay? You can keep your right leg straight or you can bend your right knee and bring the, left, the right foot to the left buttock. Your right arm is either wrapping around your left leg or taking it all the way to the outside of the leg. And your left hand can go behind you. And then let the spine gently round first. Push into your sit bones and inhale, lengthen the spine back up. As you exhale, turn your chest to the left and use that right arm to guide the left leg across the chest and lift a bit more and breathe. Nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, turn back to center. So option one, single leg pigeon, you put your right foot on the mat with the left outer ankle on your right thigh, and then you can walk your bottom closer to your heel, okay? Or you're going to do the double pigeon, that's option two, so that your right shin bone is parallel with the front of the mat, foot flex, left, Ankle on top of the right knee, left knee on top of the right ankle. Both feet are flexed. Okay? Stay where you need to be. If you're folding forward, use your out breath to fold forward. Extend the arms out and push into your finger pads, sending your tailbone and your sit bones back and down. And breathe. slowly come up and we're going to go into that lunge again okay so if you're in the double pigeon you just put your left foot down bring your hands forward and take your right leg back if you have your right leg straight you're going to move tuck the right leg underneath you come forward hands are on the inside of your left foot and you're taking your right knee back so coming into lunge position spin your left thigh bone in feel that left sit bone going wide behind you then start to fold to the inside of your left leg. Nudge your shoulder underneath the thigh. Take your hands down, okay? And then wiggle your left foot a little bit back to center. Hug your elbows in. And you can stay right here, hooking that left thigh into your left upper arm. Or you can start to creep that left foot away. Come onto the balls of the left foot. Squeeze your elbows in again. And maybe try lifting that left leg up. And maybe some of you will want to bend the elbows, lift the right knee off the floor, and maybe you can lift that right knee upwards. That I just kicked my water bottle over. Okay. So you do what works for your body. Okay. And then when you've had enough, you lower that right leg down, bend the right knee, bring your left leg back to join the right, and we're going to just lie down on our back. And you're thinking, God, we haven't had one child's pose. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay? So lie on your back. <gasps> okay? And we're going to have our knees bent. Okay? Feet wide, knees wide. Okay? Let's have a little twist first. So feet wide, knees wide. Okay? Nice deep breath in. And arms out to the side. As you breathe out, drop the knees down to the right. Okay? Tuck the tailbone and then lie all the way down. So you're lying down on your back. And then when you're ready to breathe out, drop the knees down to the left. Tuck the tailbone under, take a breath in. And one more time, over to the right. Tuck the tailbone under, take a breath. And exhale over to the left. Tuck the tailbone under again. And then you're going to come back to center, setting up for bridge pose. So have your feet hip width apart, your knees hip width apart, arms in robot arm position. Okay. We're going to press down into the upper arms and lift the chest up a little. And then as you breathe out, press into your feet, curl the tailbone and peel the spine up off the mat. And then take a breath in, exhale, come back down. Okay. Let's do that again. And this time you can take your arms up and down with you. So as you breathe in this time, press up, lift up, take the arms overhead with you. As you breathe out, roll the spine and come all the way back down. 
Basically, I forgot to do this first. One more time. Inhale, press into your feet, lift the spine, lift the arms. Exhale and lower back down. Now, this time, we're going to stay. Okay? So you can bring your arms back into robot arm position. Press into the upper arms, get the chest lifting. And as you breathe out, curl the tailbone, lift the spine up off the mat. Ground into the heels. Keep lifting the chest up towards the chin and sending your tailbone for, tailbones forward. You can take your arms underneath you, interlace the fingers and gently take the arms a little closer together under you. Okay? And keep lifting the tailbone forward, chest back, lengthen out the front of the body now. And as you exhale, release the hands and slowly roll the spine all the way back down. We're just going to do it one more time and then I promise you I'll let you have a break. Okay. So those of you who want to go into wheel, if you feel like you have a wheel in you, bring your hands by your ears, stacking the shoulder, no, stacking the elbows above the wrists, okay, and hug the elbows in. If you're going into bridge, have your hands back in robot arm position, okay. And when you're ready, if you're in bridge, push up into your bridge. If you're in wheel, hug the elbows and use your out breath. Press and lift all the way up. Okay? And then you can either walk your feet in or not, but ground the heels down. Okay? And send your chest towards the wall that you can see. And when you've had enough, if you're in wheel, tuck the chin in and slowly lower down. If you're in bridge, release the hands and come all the way down. And walk your feet, keep the knees bent, feet wide, knees together. Wrap your arms across the chest and breathe. And we've pretty much run out of time, so just go straight into your relaxation. Release your arms out, release your legs, find your way into a comfortable position. And it's not going to be a long relaxation, so I wouldn't try to put too many layers on. And just take a nice deep breath in where you are and hold it just for a moment. Okay? Notice how the body feels. And then when you breathe out, let go of all tension. Just let it all go with a big sigh. And then just allow the breath now to flow in and out freely and softly. And if it helps you to settle, just watch the breath for a moment, but allow your whole body to be soft and relaxed. And relax. 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 Staying still just for a little bit longer. Start to encourage the breath in to be a little deeper and the breath out to be a little longer. And as the breath starts to get a little more active, see if you can just check in with yourself. Okay? Notice your body, maybe even take a moment to reflect on your practice when we were working into the forward bends today. How did it feel? How did your body react when we were getting deeper into it or when we were working to, into anything that felt slightly uncomfortable? How did you react? Okay. 
What do you learn about how the way you practice on the mat will also inform you about how you live your life off the mat. When you start to notice the things that trigger you on the mat, you notice the things that trigger you off the mat, and then you can learn to deal with those better. Forward bends really require surrendering and patience. Are we patient? Do we know how to surrender? Okay. So <clears throat> these are just things I want to leave you with, not just the forward bends. Okay. When you're ready, take a deep breath of love and gratitude in and hold the breath for a moment. Allow love and gratitude to flow to every cell of your being. And then sigh love and gratitude out to all beings on earth. And make little movements, wriggling the fingers and toes, or rotate wrists and ankles. Take your time, okay, but when you feel ready, you can do a big stretch, reaching the arms and the legs away from each other. And then draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a big, big cuddle. Okay? Rocking gently, massaging the back maybe. And then roll over to one side, take a breath. And then come on up and we'll do our three ohms together. Right? I know I've run over by a minute already, but we've got time for our three ohms, okay? Sitting nice and tall, rolling the shoulders down the back, palms together at your heart center. If you can close your eyes, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Thank you.